partnered by a man who makes his first start for Rangers since September 30th. Michael Moles out of favour recently and being played up front to give his manager some evidence that he has a positive future in the side. Saints are giving a young goalkeeper Kevin Cuthbert the start given the niggling groin injury which has kept first choice Alan Miller on the bench. Willie Faulkner and Raquel Jabuli are the other changes on the side which includes former Rangers player Peter McDonald, who even though he had five years at the stadium, is playing only for the second time on this pitch. And the referee today, looking very cheerful about it, Bobby Orr. Well, you often wonder what a team like St. Johnson do, by the way, are very sprucely garbed today in these lemon shirts. Uh, I'm thinking, walking up the tunnel, realizing that no St. Johnson team has ever won in the Premier League here at Ibrox. They've only attained two draws. The last one last season, no scoring draw. Should they be very defensive from the outset or more adventurous? Well, the pattern of the game, I'm sure, will shortly be unfolding. Rangers, of course, on a high at the moment, given the couple of wins they've had and being unbeaten since Alec McLeish stood in that dugout there. Well, I think he seems to have settled the current debate, and I must say a very raging debate of who should be captain of this side, making it clear that he likes the way that Barry Ferguson has played. That was a lovely little shuffle there, typical one by Moles. Albalanti does get a little bit of freedom. Arthur Newman picks up, then De Boer. Young Morris Ross, part of this setup, looks like establishing a place and offside against Kinegia as Rangers start the game in sprightly fashion. Well, Billy Stark went into this job with his eyes wide open. He knows he, he doesn't have huge sums of money nor a huge supporters base, but given the time, I'm sure this very astute man will do something well up there. Nice little clip inside by Kinegia. De Boer, can he control it? Mould, he's done it! Beautiful goal by Moles. Oh, what a move by Rangers there. Three telling passes. And the significant thing about Moles at the end is how composed he is. Brilliant ball inside that to Moles. He didn't hesitate. No blasting it. Done almost like as if he had a slide rule to measure the place and the angle. And the supporters at the back, ecstatic that this man, whose name, as it was announced, got one of the biggest cheers of Hurt in the stadium for some time, proves his point after only two minutes. Absolutely delighted. I mean, he really has taken a chance in Mike Moles. We got the impression, all of us bystanders, that he was really out of favour and beyond redemption. Well, what a way to come back. Back he goes to Ross. Rickson, of course, operating in midfield. Neat little touch there. There's De Boer. Ferguson. Kinegia. Rangers knocking it about confidently. De Boer. Gets support from Arbaladze. It'll go through again. On again to Michael Moles. A corner kick. I don't think the referee had any jubility about giving that position, although the crowd at the back are doing a bit of refereeing themselves on this challenge there. Well, I'll tell you what, that's a penalty in my mind. He got the man, he didn't get the ball. So there we are, that's the way it goes. Well, that was well floated towards Willie Faulkner, who, of course, is a specialist in the air, both in defence and attack. Billy Stark, he knows Vic Eck very well, of course. They were teammates together. Done round there by Jabali. Trying to go for it again. Way in that far side, Peter McDonald, as I said. Nice little touch by McDonald. Ex Rangers, man, that's a good ball right across the face of the goal. That really should have been covered either by the goalkeeper 
on a central defender. So the first little hint of confusion created by the X-Rangers player, Peter McDonald. was very, very good ball that. Look at it, swerving. Tunisia. There's Ross. Once again, he's very short with his pass. Well, it's a very good run forward by Lovin Kranz, who has good pace as Faulkner. Good effort. St. Johnson's sole effort after 18 minutes. Splendid move down the left-hand side. Lovin Kranz using his pace, accuracy of pass. And Willie Faulkner, I think he knew all he could get there was just that one touch. No time to settle. The best move of the match. De Boer. A lot of that kind of movement of the lads. A difficult ball to take. He does it well, though. Grant Murray is with him. Newman tries to get the cross and it wins another corner kick. I think he shimmied a little deceptive uh, pass back there, which uh, didn't come off as he appreciates. Sorry, partner. Uh, Rickson taking all of the corner kicks at the moment. Last one was a near post one. Deeper this time, not a single Rangers player anywhere near it. Here's Newman again. Rickson going in, good play by Rickson to Kanidja. Can he square that ball? He does! Michael Wolves is very close to it again. But a corner conceded, and the young goalkeeper very courageously out there. That was almost piercing his defence. He did very, very well to get on to feet. Well, he may be young, he may be a little bit raw, but he's not lacking in there. Now Lovin Krantz. Here he goes again, he can use his pace. Neat little ball inside, pulling it up neatly. Oh, and a very weak shot indeed by Martin Fotheringham. Ferguson. That's neatly put through again by Conterman, who is passing the ball very well today. Back to Newman. Tries a right foot shot, that's an excellent one, well, there you are, not exactly a collector's item, but very rarely do you see this power of shot from his right foot going in, and I think the curve and the spin of it was more deceptive for the goalkeeper, good effort by Newman, and up here by McDonald, turning out to be a very tricky little player on that side, now Albalanti given a gift, what can he do with it? As Kanidja for support. Oh, beautiful play by Albaladze and De Boer. Couldn't really get hold of it. And that gives you a, a perfect illustration of the intelligence of Albaladze there. Fain to go for it and leaving that little path there for De Boer who couldn't take full advantage. Certainly trying a lot, Albaladze, but um, not getting very much out of the game at the moment. But he is the kind of player that can bust on the scene very quickly. Kinejja, lovely little turn again. Still going. Here's Albaladze. He's going to let fly and it wasn't far away. Well, he has a tendency to shoot on sight, this man. I mean, he, he, he really does love hitting it from far out. You can see his body was inclined just a little bit too far back and that angle inevitably sent the ball a little too high. Here's Kinejia, now Avaladze, not the best ball by Kinejia. Oh, superb play by this Georgian. Into balls and he tried a double turn. Avaladze at his very best. I mean, just watch the way he can take players on, spinning, pirouetting, keeping his balance. Knew exactly where there was to end up. Well, he's been pleased by the start, but there's a, a kind of predictable rut into which Rangers have come now. A lot of passing movement and so on, but not really endangering that last line defence of St. Johnson. Now, 
can they get something out of this half? There's only one goal in it. They've been played around by Rangers a lot, but they've got the confidence back. It's a narrow margin. That must give them some comfort. We've been looking at this young man's passing. His positional sense has been very good in this game. The passing gone astray too often, but Kanegia picks up. Now De Boer. St. Johnson getting players back behind the ball again. And that was a very ambitious ball indeed. Played by De Boer. I think he's entitled to try and get it behind the defenders, but that only goal of the game seems to have been scored a very long time ago. Two minutes into the game, and Rangers with a sparkling move that must have meant a lot to this man, Michael Moles, and to the manager, who's given him a vote of confidence. But after that, very little, one effort by St. Johnson uh, in the game. The only one they had. Rangers, a lot of possession, maybe over-elaborate, and they should have been... Uh, further ahead by now. In well, they've been belting out simply the best at uh, halftime as the players came out there, but you could hardly attach that as a tack to this game. Um, I mean, in football, we're all about the number of passes you put together, then there would be no contest already, but of course, it's not about that. And indeed, it's a, a game has been very certainly so very few efforts at goal altogether it's really surprising one goal by Rangers early on one effort by St. Johnson and not much else a lot of passing here's Amoroso at the back uh, Amoroso twice scolded by Alec McLeish from the touchline for mispassing some of the long passes here is Moles just getting out of that tangle Newman, Arbaladze, brilliant ball, great run by Arbaladze, and there's Kanidja! He took it with his right foot and tried to angle that away, and Rangers almost doing what he did at the start of the game itself. Kanidja. Back to Kanidja, on to Rickson, here's Kanidja with it. Tries to get it inside De Boer. Moles. Here's Newman. Albaladze trying to use that left triangle again, and that's the young goalkeeper scooping that up. But Rangers obviously have been reminded by the manager at half time they've got to be more direct, more shooting at goal. And they've already done that in the first three minutes of this half away easily by Albaladze that time Loda there by Jabali Murray picked up by Jabali again did that well enough well that was uh, another excellent move McDonald almost finishing it off and every now and again they bust forward like that good ball played by Jabali Difficult ball for McDonald to take with players advancing on him, and he could make nothing of it. Well cleared by McCluskey. This Kanidja tries to get into it. Now Ferguson. Kanidja picks it up well. Kanidja still drifting in, and that I think will be a booking. McCluskey. As I said to McCluskey, he's captain Scotland under 21 and under 18. And uh, he has been defending well, but that is illegal. What? Well, I can barely believe that. There's a touch there. Well, it's Kanidja who's been booked for diving. De Boer. Now Rickson. Arbaladze. Seemed to take his eye off the ball there. Stumbled a little. De Boer seeing a lot of the play in this game. Always trying to be creative. Back to De Boer. That's good play by the Dutchman. Rickson going in here. There's Michael Moles and he couldn't get hold of it. 
Now that was a much more effective move by Rangers. They had built up and gave themselves a clear chance. It was very sideways to go, which is always very difficult. Needs to be some more menace in that box. Here's McCann. Two of these passes look like passing the buck at times. So tight. There's no side. And how did he miss it? Well, I think he might have been given offside. And so close to it. But the flag stayed down. It was a chance again. Rexon, positive header, De Boer gets it forward, Alvalanzi just touched away. Yes, well, it was a tough struggle to get that ball through and he's complaining to the referee about it. This watch there, Dasovic into his back. I think the ball touched hand, but there was a push initially. Another miss by Rangers, and uh, watch it coming in, and it's Michael Moles coming down on that. Michael Moles right on the spot, and I think he took it on a half ball in, up it went. And Michael Moles, who scored that excellent opening goal, has tried very hard in this game. His return, as I said, after a long spell, away from Christie football gets an almost rapturous reception by the crowd as Flo comes on now could he pinch something out of this game I wonder if that's going through his mind Rangers with all the possession all their attempts to try to wear his side down just at this moment running against the brick wall and could he snatch one at the other end Ferguson does well with that Quantumman Simply gives it away, picked up by De Boer though. Once again it looks as if he was tackled from the back, but... Well that's a decent looking ball through the middle there, there's an appeal. Great save though. Tremendous instinctive save by a man. Who's hardly seen the ball in a game, watch this. Great effort though by Giovanni. That would have been embarrassing for this Rangers side, which had so much of the ball. To De Boer, beginning to wander just that little bit. Getting into the middle, Dasovic still with him. Still Dasovic. Avaladze. Oh, brilliant play by Avaladze. One turn too many. Just overdid it. That's been the story of Rangers' day, over elaboration. On to Flo. Looks as if he's stumbling over it, he gets away with it. De Boer, brilliant touch by De Boer. Great play by De Boer! You cannot believe the misses they've had. A magnificent run. And what did he try to do at the end? Did he try to place it? Kept his balance. And then played it far too wide. Maybe too clever by half. He can't believe it. Well, he's watched his side uh, being battled and pummeled by Rangers. But have stood up to it. And it goes to De Boer. Making the run, Dasovic tracking them back. Here's Flo. Still Flo with a chance, he can get a shot in. Again, he, he lumbered the point. And I think it illustrated what I've been saying. They're just uh, too much work on the ball. A lot of effort went into it. 
St. Johnson, well, only once in a game did it look like snatching anything in that, in that second half. That goal by Michael Moles, the one brief shining moment of glory in the game for Rangers. So many missed chances as well. And as I said, uh, a lesson to Alec McLeish.